I am a salesperson. I'm going to take you through a typical sales transaction to show you how Data Haven for Dynamics makes, makes it easier for me to generate quotes that I can send to customers and to keep track of documentation that I sent or received related to my sales transactions. The Data Haven for Dynamics component is located on this list page in the top right hand corner embedded in a fact box. The control can be embedded in a list page, a card page, or on a role center. As you switch records in NAB, the control updates to display whichever record is display the documentation for whichever record is selected. So I know that I'm looking at the documents for the correct record. Today I need to send a quote for five side panels to my customer, the Canon Group. I've already created the quote. When the card page loads, you can see the Data Haven for Dynamics control in the top right hand corner use the Actions menu to capture a copy of the quote to the folder structure. So now I have a copy of the quote stored alongside the record. It's automatically named with NAB metadata so that I can find this record if I, uh, if I need to. So I can email this document to the customer. There. So now the customer has the quote, so hopefully we can make this a sale close out of NAB, because my work here is done, now I can move on to the other important tasks I have to work on today. But later that same day, the customer calls to say that they didn't want to order five side panels, they wanted to order seven instead. So I need to update my quote. I don't use NAB all, uh, for 100% of my day, so I may or may not have it open on my desktop, but I do have Outlook open all day. And Data Haven for Outlook allows me to very quickly perform a search and find the quote so that I can edit it. So I ask the customer for the quote number, and they tell me quote 1020, so I conduct a search. And since we name the quote with the, with the document metadata, with the NAB metadata, it found the quote. Let's make sure it's the right one. And it is. This is our quote for five side panels. Now I can use the Open Dynamics Record feature which launches the role tailored client and displays the quote inside of the role tailored client. So it took me directly there. I can edit the quote and update my quantity to seven. Now I can go to the actions menu. I can recapture a new copy of the quote, email this out to the customer. There, and I was able to very quickly create, uh, complete that task without ever even hanging up the phone. Now, when I come into the office the next day, uh, the Canon Group has emailed, emailed me and told me that they want to go ahead and, and purchase this, uh, and purchase the seven side panels. So I'll need to turn my NAB quote into an order. We go back over to the role tailored client. I'll select the quote and I'll choose Make Order. This is going to convert the quote into an order. For those of you who use NAB, you know that when, an order, when a quote gets converted into an order, then the quote is no longer in the system. It goes away. So I just converted it and it disappeared. And the documentation looks like it disappeared with it. Uh, but it didn't. It should follow along with the transaction over to the order. So let's go over to the order and take a look. If I open up my order, I see that my quote's been converted, and also I see that there's a new folder, uh, top-level folder, that's related to the sales order, so it contains metadata about the sales order. Uh, so any documents that I need to attach to the order will go in here. Uh, I also have a folder for the quote documents underneath of the main folder, so if I expand that, we can see that I have my original and my revised quote still attached to the record. I need to get my, my email into the system and associate it with this order so that it can be stored here for backup for the customer's order. So I go back to Outlook. I can grab the email and drag it down. I can drop it onto the drop zone. Choose New Documents for Order 1041. Uh, it also should be noted that I could also, uh, I could also still attach documents that relate to this quote, and they would go in the quote folder even though the quote no longer exists. But for, in this case, I want to attach it to the order itself. So I'll choose the first selection. 
which attaches my email and associates it with the order. So now you can see how I'm building a transaction history, complete with all the documentation that relates to this NAB record. So now in the, in the scenario that there's a question or dispute, I'll have everything I need to answer any questions. So now that we've built out our order, I'll need to switch roles to the billing clerk. The billing clerk's role is to, is to post shipments and invoices for orders that need to be fulfilled for customers. Uh, so we have all seven of our side panels in stock, so I need to go ahead and post my, uh, my order. So I go up and I choose post. So now I'm going to create a shipment and invoice for this, for this uh, purchase order, or sales order, excuse me. So I perform the post, and again, you know, like the, the quote to order conversion, uh, the posting process is going to make the sales order go away. Uh, and it's going to convert it into a shipment and an invoice. And, uh, you know, as you would expect, the documentation is going to follow along with the process as well. So let's go over to the posted documents area and see how this all shakes out. If I select our, our sales invoice, the documentation shows up in the Data Haven for Dynamics Control. And let's get a little bit more screen real estate. Uh, I have, a, I have the sales invoice folder now as my top level folder because I have a sales invoice selected. Uh, under that we have, an order, uh, we have a folder that's specific to the order. We have another folder that's specific to the quote. So all the documentation came along uh, to this invoice and it's still attached. Uh, we've also captured, automatically captured during the posting process a copy of the sales invoice. Let's take a look at that. So here's our sales invoice for a quantity of seven side panels. So now this, this document can be stored alongside, uh, it can be archived with the posted sales invoice or it could be emailed to the customer.